Hello, my name is Jean-Marie Burel. I'm from the OME team in Dundee. And in, today in this short video, I'm going to show you how you can view OME ZAR file in the big data viewer using Mobi. Mobi is a plugin for Fiji. So first, let's have a look at how to install it. So I've already run the updater by clicking on help update ahead of time. So my Fiji application is, is up to date. So I do not have any jar as you can see to update. So to add um, an update site, click on manage update site. This will pop up a dialog and you can add you add Mobi to, the, to your update site list. Just pay attention to the capitalization of the letter, only the O is lowercase. So I've already done that ahead of time. So today in this short video, I'm going to show you how you can open those images from IDR that have been converted into OMSR. So we'll first look at how to launch it from the UI. And after that, I will show you how you can launch it, launch it sorry, using a, a short Groovy script. So let's type in the search box OMSR. So you can see we have two, two options, one advanced and simple. So I'm going to select the advanced option. You can access those commands this plugin directly from plugin Big Data Viewer OMSR. Click Run. So a little dialog will pop up. And what we're interested, so I've already entered the URL of one of those files from IDEA 77 that have been converted. And what we're interested, I want to see, to show you what's happening when we are loading the data. So I click OK. So as you, you will see, so that's a run done before, but slowly you can see the data getting fetched. So we only load the data we want to see. That's interesting. So when the big data viewer pops up, click on the letter P, select the window first and click on the letter P to display all the control to change the rendering settings. So I'm going to change the rendering settings now trying to boost them as much as we can so we can visually see something a bit more striking. So it might not be what you will do on real science. It's just for the sake of the video that I'm uh, boosting all this channel so we can actually see clearly what's happening here. Let's pick a red oh, sign maybe. Just going to change this one to another color, more striking. Okay. So now if we want to change plane, I'm going to use the wheel on my mouse. So that's, and what's interesting here, we need to see what's happening in the log. So if I move change plane, as you can see, the data are then loaded. So we do not need to load the entire file when we first view the data. Again here. And by selecting the, clicking on the left and side of my mouse, I can rotate and view the sample in a different, in an orthogonal view. And you can see the data start to get loaded. This data being loaded again and slowly appearing in the big data viewer. So I've, I've done several actions, so this could take a bit of time. So you see the plane are fetched as we go and some, some plane are then populated. Channel per channel, so you see the, you slowly see the, the data being displayed. And if I rotate again, the data will then be loaded. So that's an option to view the data. So let's close that viewer. The second option I wanted to show you is if you are interested in more in the scripting aspect of things. So you can open the script file, new script, click run. The scripting dialog of Fiji will pop up. Then I'm going to open a file that I've recently open. So it's a it's a little groovy script. You can find the script into our Omero guide Fiji on GitHub. So it's a very short script actually. 
So what you need to do is instantiate the ZAR S3 reader passing the URL. And after the, you read the key of the file you want to read. In that case, I'm going to read a file similar to what the one you have just looked at. It says version one. The reader is able also to read a file from the version two of the, of the ZAR specification. I click run. And shortly we'll have uh, the image popping up. Again, when the image pop up, I click on the P key on my keyboard and start changing the rendering settings. As you will see, as we've done previously, you can then adjust the rendering settings and boost the value. Let's see on this one, what's happening. You know, again, if I scroll the data, change plane, data get loaded. Okay. Thank you for your time.